Hi, I'm Janelle. Welcome to White Spring Homestead. I have waited two years to order a Bosch mixer and it finally came in the mail, so I thought that I would unbox it with you in case you're thinking about getting a Bosch mixer because it's quite an investment and um, it's just kind of nice sometimes to see actual people getting a product in the mail instead of just looking at things online. So as you can see, this is a huge box. It takes up my whole island and so I'm going to actually put it on the floor and pull parts out of it. All right, it's packed well in here. Um, I waited uh, until Black Friday deals to order a mixer because the mixer itself is on sale and it also comes with either a free cookie um, paddle attachment set or the free ice cream maker. As far as I know, that's normally the, the kind of two things they have with it at that time. It's also the only time I know when there's like a really, really good sale on it. Um, so, oh, all right. So I'm not really sure why. I've got all kinds of stuff in here. So let's just see what's in here. So I only ordered the um, Universal Mixer Plus with the ice cream maker. So I'm kind of interested. There's some other things in my box that um, I didn't order. So I'm not really sure uh, what's up with that. Maybe it's free. Maybe it came as part of the package and I totally missed it, which is totally fine. So there is a Nutramel waffle cone maker, which sounds super yummy to me. And so maybe it's part of the ice cream kit and obviously could be used for other things besides that. So there's a little cone to make your waffles on. template that tells you the recipe and how to use it, which I'll definitely have to read because um, I've never made waffle cones. I'm guessing they're a little different than normal waffles and maybe a little bit more like a gazelle that you have to kind of, you know, really keep an eye on them. So, okay, yeah, it definitely looks more like a gazelle. So it's just a very thin plate. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's not deep at all. Um, so anyhow, I'll have to try that out. Maybe teach you guys uh, how to do it once I've got it figured out and all the things figured out. Okay, we'll put that down here. All right, then there's a pack of paper straws. And this, which I admit, I don't know what this is. I'm guessing... Actually, I'm not even guessing because I don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe it's to cover the ice cream bowl? I don't know. We'll just see when we get it out. Um, then there's an envelope. Uh, Alright, so sorry I got cut off there. Um, I did look up that cover and it is um, to cover your ice cream bowl. So, here is just a little book of all the ice creams. Um, I'm opening up the ice cream uh, attachment part now. Here's the part that spins around and cleans it all up. And then here is the bowl. Um, if I remember right, this makes a quart and a half of ice cream, which is a fabulous amount for my family, enough for um, us just to eat one time and then kind of have it done um, and not have, you know, all these little bits of ice cream in containers in the um, freezer. A little bit, Catherine. Also came with three different ice cream mixes, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. So we'll have to try those out. Um, hopefully soon we'll be milking another. Okay, I'm back now. I got the Bosch box, mixer box, out of the other big box. So um, I took a little bit of doing and put some other stuff away just so it fits on my island. Um, I'm going to hit my light. So, um picture of different accessories you can get. Um, and it came with, uh, which is outside the box, a starter guide, which has some recipes in it, and um, 
I know some other things, carrot cake, that's Catherine's favorite cake. Um, and I used to never like it, but now I kind of do. So, right, let's see how to get this out of here. boxes inside of boxes when you order this, so, um, which is fine for us. We use our cardboard in um, our garden spaces to keep down the weeds or where our raspberries are, and then we kind of cover that with um, wood chips or sawdust that we get from some friends who um, do those kind of things in their business, and it saves them the hassle of getting rid of them and the money, and it saves us the money of having to buy them. So, this fell out of the box when I was wrangling the mixer out. So here's the mixer. Sorry, I just dropped you. Let me move you down a little bit more so you can see the mixer more instead of me. So this is the um, knob. Oops, you can't see it. Sorry. This is the knob. I already watched a couple of videos about that. Um, I love to make homemade bread. Don't get to it, to it very often, but I'm excited to have a mixer that can make a lot of loaves of bread at once, you know, six um, or more, and just, you know, that will last my family a while. So, um, but anyhow, when you're doing that, you're not supposed to ever put it to four when you're kneading, so that's kind of interesting. So, here's all the parts that come off. So here's the lid. Um, little wrapper to figure out how all these parts come apart and go together um, just like you do when you ever you buy anything new little styrofoam piece and here is the um, the dough hook uh, which is very sturdily built and ready to make lots and lots of dough we're also going to be making a lot of cookies this week our kids are in 4-H and our local um, state park does a cookie walk and the 4-H kids provide the cookies so. And then here are is the beater attachment. So um, we'll see how these work. Um, I am part of a Facebook group, and lots of people actually have some issues with their mixers. And other people, of course, love them. Um, that went on really well, actually, and, and comes off really easily. Um, so it'll be interesting to see kind of what what uh, my experience is with it. Um, and I think there should be another attachment somewhere for this. It could go down further in the bowl, but I don't see it at this moment. So I'll have to check that out. Or maybe um, this is a new design and so it doesn't have to um, have that extra one. I don't really know. I'll have to figure that out and see. It is definitely heavy duty. Oh, it's definitely suction to my countertop, so it's not going to move when it goes, which is really important because um, this motor is much stronger than like a KitchenAid mixer, and so um, you know it needs to be secure and uh, oh all that when it's mixing, so it doesn't you know move anywhere or something. So that's a good design feature. All right, well I'm sure I'll see you in future videos trying out the mixer and. Um, letting you know how I like it, the problems I've had with it, things I really like. Um, let me know if you have this mixer and what your opinion is of it. All right, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.